Hey guys, Miss Lauren Lee 11 here. And today I'm going to be showing you a comparison of two moisturizing shampoos now I say moisturizing because I know one of them really is moisturizing and the other one I kind of struggle with so I'm gonna be doing a comparison today on both sides one side for this shampoo and one side for the other shampoo and show you how they work on my type 4 here some 3c but majority is type 4 here and I've just washed my hair because I've done a red hair paint wax video and I've just washed that out now and I may still have bits of red in my hair I'm not sure if you can see it on camera but anyway my hair needs to be shampooed because I had a lot of product in there and I'm going to do that now so the first one I'll be using for my left side your right side <laughs> will be the Suave my favorite favorite shampoo I'm gonna need to try and see if I can order some of this because I just love this stuff and it says okay so let me just quickly read to you what it says it says almond and shea butter the moisturizing shampoo is infused with hundred percent natural almond and shea butter which are known for their rich emollients so I'm gonna go ahead so it's a fair test I'm gonna apply them the same way so I'm gonna start with my roots and just work into a lava what I like about the shampoo while I'm cleaning my hair guys I like the way it feels some shampoos kind of irritate my scalp but this one just makes it feel like it's being cleaned as you can see I can detangle with it I can separate I'm gonna need to get my spray bottle just to re-dampen my hair because if you have low porosity hair like mine, you'll find that your hair does tend to start drying ASAP. The shampoo I can compare it to is the Cream of Nature Moisturizing Detangling Shampoo. And to be honest, this is usually the drier side of my hair. Of my hair, so that's why I've done it on this side. This side, for some reason, when I wash out the shampoo, it always seems to go th frizzy up here and never seems to hold the curl in this part. So I thought it would make sense to put the more moisturizing shampoo, in my opinion, the more moisturizing shampoo on this side. I don't usually twist up my hair with shampoo in it. This is for demonstration purposes, guys. <laughs> okay, so the second one, I have tried this numerous times and I've tried to like it. I've tried to apply it different ways and there's only a small amount of ways you can really apply shampoo to your hair and I still keep getting the same effect with it. Okay, and the one I'm talking about today is Maui Moisture Curl Quench with Coconut Oil Shampoo and it says, for thick curly hair, hydrate smooth and defrizz, rich coconut oil, creamy papaya extract and wholesome plumeria extract made of 100% aloe vera juice as first ingredient, okay. Now, this all sounded promising to me when I saw this in Walmart, and I've seen it over here in the UK, but it's quite pricey over here. So when I saw it, I thought, let me just try it, because I've been wanting to try this line for a long time. And when I tried the shampoo, I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of disappointed. Now, don't get me wrong, initially I was disappointed because where I was staying in the States the water didn't matter what shampoo I used it was just not working my hair it tangled my hair up in the shower whatever condition I used it would just keep my hair tangled now the water I have here at home it's fine it helps my hair to be detangled so obviously you got to take that into consideration guys the water I suppose if it's hard water soft water but then I did try the shampoo when I got back home to the UK and it kind of had the same effects so I'm gonna try it now guys so this one's not as smooth as the other one it smells nice it doesn't smell like coconut it smells more fruity so it's not as smooth it's more tacky I think but I'm gonna go ahead and apply it and see what happens And the real deciding factor is whether it helps to detangle my hair or whether it creates the knots that I experienced before when I use this. There's another thing with this one I found, the Maui, that I have to use quite a bit of product as opposed to the smaller amount that I used with the Suave. So it feels a lot thicker. 
feels a bit, the only way I can really describe it is in feeling thicker. It feels a bit more gummy or tacky as I said. Not tacky actually, more gummy. But it massages my scalp really nice. So again, I can feel my hair getting tangled. I'm going to just spray some more water on it just to try and distribute the shampoo down to the tips of my hair. Just to kind of lather it up. Maybe it's due to the fact that it doesn't have any sulfates. There you go, you can see the red coming out of my hair now. So well, there you go, it cleanses very nice. But as you can see, for detangling, it's not as easy. And by rights, it doesn't claim to be a detangling shampoo, but with a moisturizer, any moisturizer shampoos I've come across, I have been able to detangle my hair with ease. And when I say detangle, I don't mean like type of detangling you do with a conditioner. I mean just like take your hair, separate your hair basically. It's doing a not so bad job actually. It's not as bad as I've experienced previously. It's not as good, I'm gonna be honest, it's not as good as the Suave in my opinion because it feels like there's less slip in there. But it's not doing a horrible, okay. It just feels like this part here just feels like, yeah, this is a lot of tangles. When I wash it out, I don't want my hair to be matted and tangled and bunched up. So obviously where it's taking longer to detangle, with this shampoo it's starting to hurt on my scalp but i have heard good reviews on this shampoo guys so i'm not saying this to put you off all right okay so it went the best experience but it wasn't too bad either see this one's making my hair feel like have that squeaky feeling like there's no natural oil on my hair it just feels like it's feels like it needs some lubrication <laughs> right so i'm gonna go ahead and wash this out both sides so remember this side my left side, your right side, is the Suave, and my right side, your left side, is the Maui. So I'm gonna go wash them out so you can see the difference. So I will be back. Okay guys, so I'm back now. Okay, I'm gonna give you my final verdict. Put these shampoos together so you can see. Okay, this was the Suave side, and this was the Maui side. Okay, so if you can see the difference, guys, this side has got more hang to it because this side has retained more moisture because this shampoo was more moisturizing. This side, even though it's got beautiful definition, it feels a bit more tangled. It doesn't feel very smooth. It feels kind of rough. This side, very smooth, got more movement. And even though this side has got more movement, it's got, seems to have more volume. I tried to go into this without being biased because I have used both products before and I tried to go and be an unbiased and base my judgments on the usage of the shampoos that I just done now. As you can see, for instance, let me put it this way, guys. If you have oil in your hair, if you apply oil to your hair, the oil will start to weigh down the strands so then your hair will hang, meaning there's more product in your hair. So, or moisture or what have you. This side seems more frizzy to me, just like, especially this bit. This is like one of my trouble areas as well. It's usually in the crown, guys, that I get the troublesome areas. It's still got a nice bounce to it, but when I have tried to detangle it afterwards with the conditioner, it's more bothersome, okay? So, my final verdict <laughs> has to be suave as the winner. I'm sorry, guys. It has to be suave as the winner. And this is just for the shampoos, guys. I do really actually like the Maui um, conditioner, but for the shampoo, for me, it's a no. I find that it feels a bit too harsh for my hair. It makes my hair feel a bit stripped. All right, guys, so that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped. Let me know if you've tried any of these shampoos yourself and what you think, and if you can recommend any more sh moisturizing shampoos, I should say, for me to try, and I will do that. So thank you so much guys for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.